A very good morning to all of you, dear scholars. It has been a pleasure and a wonderful opportunity to interact with you all. I am very glad that all of you have uh, submitted your answers, hopefully, and you have benefited from the work that we have done in collecting these OSCEs and presenting it to you in a way how it is done in the real exam. So the only aim of this exercise is to equip you and to make you more confident in how you have to deal with this exam. Of course, we have the practical exam course, which deals with case presentation, ward rounds and all the other stuff, FIVA. But uh, the OSCE is something uh, that baffles even the veterans because uh, you are given a very limited amount of time and you have to come up with the correct answer and uh, there is no scope for any error because you write it down. So uh, we have uh, tried our best to collect these OSCEs and we have done so and uh, uh, I, if you have not taken the live stations yet I implore you to take that now because uh, only then you will be able to get the real feel and you will be able to judge yourself and improve yourself. So. Uh, and I also want to tell you that you need to keep a good spirit. There is a lot of depression around. There are people who uh, tell, uh, give you wrong ideas, who paint a black picture, but it is not so. People are there who have uh, cleared at first attempt. And I know them personally. I have trained them personally. The only thing that you have to do is you have to trust in the system. You have to have faith in yourself and the Almighty, to whoever you pray to, and yourself. Because in the end, it is you who is going to come out in flying colors. And if I am given the opportunity to help you do that, it is a blessing in disguise for me. So let's go ahead. So the title says, Clear Oski Like a God. But anyway, we have to give a disclaimer. This session is for educational purpose only to familiarize candidates with the OSCE pattern and is not affiliated to NBE or NMC. The OSCE's discussed are not claimed to be from the real exam. Any similarity is purely coincidental. So, uh, th this we have followed the pattern. 23 stations are laid out here. Each station is allotted 5 minutes. A break of 5 minutes after 7 sessions and in the real exam any disruption in connectivity will be resumed exactly from the same point so you don't have to worry about that and the paper that is given to you you have to write the answers in the front uh, not in the back and if the question asks you to give one point if you write multiple points that doesn't mean you're going to get more marks so it might even confuse the examiner so if they tell you list four points, write only four points. If they tell you list three points, write only three points. See, these are some uh, general instructions you need to keep in mind. So, uh, please do that. So, this hyper extension clause is closing. So, you correct that passively and you check if active IP extension is possible through long extension. So, uh, I think with that we have covered a huge and very important uh, material and uh, I am very uh, thankful to all of you guys for following what I have been doing and uh, I have been getting requests for doing this for a long time but uh, we were not able to get these recall last case so we got them and then uh, we saw the recent uh, 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 results they were not so uh, good somebody said it's 30 percent somebody said it's 35 percent and uh, so but the people uh, who have not uh, cleared they are uh, repeatedly not clearing so i think it's a cycle you know where you should not repeat the mistakes that you have done previously if you've not taken help if you've not taken my courses uh, if you've not taken somebody else's help Please do that. You have to do it differently. You have to find out what is the cause and then address it. Because people who have followed what we have been doing, they have cleared. Because 
people who are clearing they are clearing all right but people who are stuck they are stuck so i am trying to put in your mind that find out what is the cause of why you do not clear okay i am not trying to discourage you i am trying to give you a different outlook there are toxic people yes they will try to put you down yeah they will tell you have a problem that is why no it's not that you know everybody needs a support system so basically the idea of mentor exam is to support pgs starting from dnb because i was a dnb and at that time there was nobody to guide us and we formed the support system we supported each other we supported our seniors supported us we supported our juniors and then it grew in those terms and we were able to clear the exam in the first shot and we were able to do that for our juniors for uh, plenty of batches it is disheartening to see that uh, uh, many of uh, the orthopedics pgs are not doing well so i took this as an opportunity to do my part and uh, to uh, reach as many pgs as possible so that uh, uh, i remember myself in uh, your condition and uh, i want you to come out of it i want to do whatever i can to help all of you guys and uh, we are here to help people we've been asking for uh, recall losskies since many times and people uh, who have come forward uh, finally we've been able to give this and uh, in the future also we are willing to help and for this we need your participation uh, we need uh, uh, you guys to spread the word uh, to join us to uh, support us and then give us feedback how can we help you to do well of course you can help yourself but uh, we also want to help you so please help us help you and uh, please take uh, the next session oski uh, live please attempt the questions please write down please upload because only then you will get the real feel and only then you will benefit the idea of this is to benefit you guys there is no other uh, thing we want so please take the oskis spread the word and help us help you thank you very much i am dr prashant madanmohan your mentor and i wish you all success thank you